I so often film it down here from up there in that window right below the orange little piece of orange stuff. Anyway, I'm here because uh, this is where I'm going to put that windmill. Uh, um, my friend, I call him Adam the Oxman, he and I flipped this tire over. I've got to dig a hole there so the tire can be under grade. And we also brought down some 12-inch uh, uh, blocks. Those are tens, but those are twelves. <clears throat> And each leg, each of the six legs, is going to have two uh, point loads of point point loads, uh, and I'll get them. I'll get them all level uh, while the ground is hasn't frozen yet. I'll get them all level, <clears throat> and then I'll probably start to build this, with no intention of getting it finished before the snow flies. And the chain, I went through my old pieces of chain, and that those pieces I'm going to used to wrap around this tire uh, just to get it out of the ground before I go to high tensile fence wire and that's going to be part of the weighting down so this whole windmill doesn't just blow over. While I'm out walking about on this beautiful afternoon I'll let, let you see some of the places that most need work. I, I, I'm up here to show you the rest of sawmill number two. But this stack of uh, ends for spools for wire uh, is my, they're my best candidates for that cap. Although I may just end up buying a piece of plywood. Uh, this tire is here because right in the middle of it there's a stake, which is a surveyor stake. In case this property were ever divided again, it would go straight back in that direction pretty much on a contour. All right now let's take a look at these sawmill parts. The rest of sawmill number two is here. Adam and I got it out of the ground. Those cables are part of it. Here's the track. Two kinds of track which is the way it should be. I may take that down so it doesn't get buried in the grass again. Uh, these pieces are a little hard to explain but, but they're part of it. That's part of it. I know where all these pieces go because I've studied sawmills for so much. But uh, I, I just here I just kind of want to show you that we did get them out. That looks like it would be part of it, but it's not. It's part of the hay track, uh, hay hay fork track of a barn that blew down uh, and got twisted all up. All right, but now here we're back to the sawmill. That piece. And that piece together work as a transmission and it's as far as I'm concerned that's the most valuable part of the whole sawmill and I think it's all there except for this that, that's supposed to be a paper pulley but you can get them made there's a uh, the uh, pulleys for either end of the cable that drives it that gear is part of that mechanism these are these are all parts of that mechanism, which I, I'm going to end up, I'm not going to let that get, get in the weeds again. This uh, is part of what's called the uh, headstock, or the husk, sometimes people call it. It's where the saw sat, and that transmission as well. I'm going to leave it as it is, because I can rebuild it, and those pieces of wood will show me, give me an idea of how it was. It'll help me piece it together. But I've got the uh, the uh, patent uh, document from it. You can get you can get uh, those drawings from the patents. I have that and, and I could use that. This is part of the uh, set works it's called. Three of these and there's the rails that they run in. Set how wide you want your board to be or beam or whatever. I only need two, and uh, and that means I'll have I have a, a first sawmill that has three, and if I take two from each set, I'll have a third set of two, which I can use for a uh, an up and down sawmill. This is part of the uh, set works, and so is this very long shaft and very heavy, but I know where it is, and I'll I'll, I'll get it up further. Uh, that, I'd have to look closer and just what that piece is. But then 
here we come into um, the the carriage uh, and the track uh, is already over there the track is or I already took that down to the barn it's those telephone poles but these I'll just uh, someday when it's been raining or there's snow on the ground I'll uh, build a fire under them because there's nothing here that will be damaged by a fire and it'll get all the wood away this I think this is this is track and uh, same thing uh, there's less to it it's just those long bolts uh, so there is a track besides those telephone poles down there but anyway I'll I'll burn this stuff away I really should turn this section right here into hog pasture for at least a year or two because they'd clean this or they will clean it right up I probably will do that that old manure spreader works sort of but it's got a mechanism in it to advance something by increments uh, and that's what you need if you're going to use a, an up and down sawmill uh, and make it automatic uh, it's this oh, where is it well, somewhere in there, there's a, and maybe it's on the other side. It, 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 it you can adjust it uh, to make a big push because the webbing here uh, move forward to advance the manure off the back of it, uh, and the adjustment is right in here, and so that ratcheted wheel. Now that's bugging me. I'm going to go the whole way around it and find that because because it would that's the piece that that uh, you really need if you're gonna be doing that it must be uh, must be in there because um, yeah, I don't see it here I just thought I'd be able to catch a glimpse of the, the notches it looks like a wheel with a whole bunch of teeth on it but it's not a gear And uh, no, that's a sprocket, it's not that. Where is that? Well, it's here. I'm sure it's here. It must be smaller than I... Let me push these out of the way. There it is. There it is. And, and there's a dog that follows along and drops in so it doesn't go back. See where that is? That's the part that's critical to make an up and down sawmill. There's the dog. And I've got a crank off a <clears throat> hay baler and a gearbox for that. And I've got the saw blade, but I could make one out of one of those old monster or that monstrous broken bandsaw blade I've got. So, all right, I guess that's enough. Bye for now.